Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at ChatGPT and what it can offer you. We're also going to have a look at Blackbox and what it can offer you. So, without further ado, let's dive in. So, ChatGPT and Blackbox are both advanced language models that have been making waves in the world of artificial intelligence for quite some time. So, having a look at ChatGPT, it is an AI assistant created by OpenAI, who is a leading research company in the field of AI development. It's a large language learning model trained on a vast amount of text data, allowing it to engage in natural conversations, answer questions, and even assist with tasks like writing and even coding. Blackbox, on the other hand, is an AI platform developed by a company called Anthropic. It is also a powerful language model. But what is a unique twist that Blackbox has? Well, it's designed specifically to be more transparent than your traditional Blackbox AI systems. Blackbox aims to provide users with a better understanding of how AI arrives at its actual output. So ChatGPT does also offer a bunch of different language models. So right now we're using the ChatGPT 4.0 and on the left hand side, you can see that there are a few different GPTs here. So if you want to go ahead and search and discover a bunch of different apps, you can implement in here. Uh, you can see here that there's quite a bit. So it's more than just a chatbot. You can also, when you're going into your chat page, you can add attachments over here on the left hand side. Um, and it is quite a detailed experience. One of the nice things about ChatGPT is if you go over to the right hand side in your account, you can actually customize ChatGPT. So if you're customizing your interactions, you are providing more specific detailed guidelines for your chats, which is fantastic. So basically what you're going to be doing here is the first section is what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses. So if it's business specific, then you can add those details in here. And then you can also add how you would like ChatGPT to respond. So you can have this now. And once you are working in ChatGPT, it's going to respond according to your specific needs and not just as a chatbot. Blackbox, on the other hand, has a couple more features. You can see here um, at the top, there is a few different options. So if you ho have a look at the data science agent, if you click on this, you can actually go ahead and um, use credits to start using the, um, the robo coders. So that is also a nice advantage. And um, if you go to the VS code extension, you can actually add this extension in here. So it'll assist you with your coding while using VS code. Uh, you can also use speech to text. You can literally dial in code right here, add attachments. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So it is able to read images. You can actually ask the um, black box AI to talk to you about images that you've uploaded over here. That's great. And on the right hand side over here, you can see you can change a bunch of things about your chat and uh, you can manage your profile there. So it really is a fantastic chatbot. On the left hand side, you can see that there are a few other options here, such as the playground, which in actual fact, ChatGPT or OpenAI also has. So that's great. You can go and explore with different models and you can learn a little bit more about what they have to offer and how they actually work. So of course, I think I've been using ChatGPT for a very long time now, and I'm very comfortable with ChatGPT. Uh, Chat black box AI is also fantastic. I'm not a coder, so its specifics for me is not really applicable. So in this use case, I'm going to say that ChatGPT is a better option for me personally. However, it really depends on what your needs are, what you're going to be doing with it and how it works while you are using it. Go ahead and check out some of our other videos on AI if that is what your interest is. We'll see you next time. Cheers.